you're killing me today. This she whole... got so good at the 23rd Psalm, yes. and a few yeah. years ago, she got it so darn good that she's able to do it in one breath. And what's a better way to end off the show than to watch her succeed? I haven't practiced it. So how? But it, the Holy this, Spirit. This is so stressful. And some okay. magic editing. <laughs> yeah. okay. This is so stressful. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't know. Okay. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. And I am Velma Zoinks. <laughs> and this is Frank sporting his um barbecue shirt. Smoking pig. It's a barbecue place down south. That one's in Georgia. I think they're both in Georgia. There's two or three. But um, we usually stop when we're driving down 95. Frank is a huge fan of barbecue. Um, you just can't get enough of it. Oh, ooh, ooh. There's his, different types. Yeah, That's his favorite end. is uh, South Carolina barbecue. Okay. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. Let us know your favorite down in the Texas, comments. Texas, St. Louis. There's different yeah, types. Yeah, Texas, of course. Um, but so anyway, um, you know, yesterday we had a podca- podcast. It was we did. a twin podcast. But it was also spooky. <laughs> It, and not just for the topic being twins, but it was a twin topic, twin podcast. It was. It was Twinsday. Twen- it was Twinsday. And it was devils and twins. And if you haven't already checked it out, then what are you waiting for? And and I want to tell you something later. Um, what are you waiting for? Cast into the fire. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I knew that. L O T R. Yeah, uh, later on, I I was looking at um, Lucifer as a twin, and here there's. Do you know a show called Lucifer? Yeah, I've been recommended to watch it, and I never have, and I okay. never will watch that mm. double show. I I haven't watched it, but it appears there's a storyline in Lucifer where he is revealed to be the twin of the archangel michael yeah it's funny you you put that in the bio description yeah that's because i found it <laughs> and i was like whoa that's an interesting little fan theory i was yeah. like should we have talked about that but no because when i when i looked it up it's literally in a writer's mind yeah but what but, do they hey. say truth is stranger than fiction you never you you never know but um yeah so today is not wednesday it's thursday which means wait Wait, what day is it? Walk through, through Thursday. Thursday. Roll the Three intro. Minutes. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, and we are back. It's walk through Thursday. One of our three favorite times of our the yeah. midweek. Everyone's, not just ours. Everyone's, yeah, for sure. And it... Even though it's walk through Thursday, on a Thursday, mm-hmm. it feels kind of like a Friday. It does. And you know what that is? I think it's because we're finishing up the 23rd Psalm today. Ah. We are finishing after how many weeks? Six. Well, after five weeks, this being the sixth. Yeah, six. Yeah. First. We are going to finish up our first segment of walk through Thursday, being the 23rd Psalm. And I'm... Um, both excited and also a little sad. I know. It's I wish we could talk about it every week. I know. But we probably run out of things to talk about. Nope, that's the devil speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Check out yesterday's podcast. <laughs> and so if today is walk through Thursday, last segment of the 23rd Psalm, what will we talk about next walk through Thursday? Well, I believe you said that we have a recommendation. We do. Well, first of all, it's Holy Thursday. Right. So it's Holy Walk Through Thursday. <laughs> Holy Walk Through Thursday. <laughs> Batman. And we have been requested. We have been partitioned. Mm-hmm. We have been commissioned <laughs> yeah. to dissect a verse from John. Mm-hmm. One John. Okay. One John 4, 7 to 8. <laughs> Lottery numbers. <laughs> <laughs> And I actually, I mean, from top top of my head, top of me head, don't know what it is, but I'm excited to get into it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do some research. Yeah. 
in the middle of a podcast like we usually do. But yeah, so that's that's ne- that's next week. Be get excited. That's yeah, from something. And it sounds like well, you could look it up, but it sounds like the request was just for the two verses. Um. I don't know if you want to do the whole. We'll see. Yeah, because okay. if, if we're reading seven to eight, right? You got follow me now. There might be more than eight. Yeah. And then that's eight, eight plus weeks, two months. Yeah. Just better be the best verse in the world. Oh wow. No, I'm saying like. That. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I don't know what you're saying right now, but I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's right. No, <laughs> obviously any any verse, verse seven is is just one verse. Yeah, uh, it's one verse. And verse eight is just one verse. That's just two verses. No, because I'm saying if we if we read all of oh. one like the twenty third Psalm is Psalm twenty three. One 23. John four. This is it this could is, be like twenty three verses. Yes, that's what and I'm that's, saying. Or, that's yeah. crazy. Okay. Yeah. So um we but, will we'll yeah. play it by we'll ear. We just kick it out in one week, actually. Yeah, we might read because the whole thing. The person wants to know. Okay. You know what we're doing? We're dilly dallying. Because we just don't want the last episode of the 23rd Psalm to be over, but we have to, we have a justice. We have a justice to do. So if, if Holy Thursday is next Thursday, that means Palm Sunday is this Sunday. Palm Sunday meme review. Get ready for it. It's yeah. going to be epic. All right. Here we go. Okay. So we don't have phones and we don't have papers. So but I'll we, just, what we have is we have the 23rd Psalm in our heart. We have and it, and I have weeks. it in my memory and it, well, so right now, remember, we, we're going to catch them up on what we read already. Okay. And then we're going to just like put a little space in between. We're not going to see if we can do it in one breath like you <laughs> love doing. Um, we're going to... You are so ungrateful. <laughs> okay. We can, we can say that for the end. That'll be the outro. So, so, so you want me to say it really? Like, so no, keep like, okay. Stopping? I'll, I'll say the first one. Okay. And then you can follow the lead. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll just follow the lead. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Do I keep going? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It just like a little bit of a, like just just take a breath in. Remember, because I'm not I'm not sure where they end the start. Okay, let's just do our best. Okay, let's just start over. Oh well, no! You can, now you know you can start. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. I'm doing the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were gonna like no, play it's, tennis. It's, it's it's your it's your Bible verse. Okay. It's your last day to, to say it ever. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. You don't need to pause in the middle of the... I can't. I I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing great. (laughs) I need a teleprompter. (laughs) He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, why aren't you doing any of it? I'm, I'm holding up my fingers okay. of which one we're on. I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Nice. You got it. Not that nice. I mean, that was, we really, take 200. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Okay. So, we got five verses jam-packed with action. Um, it was an emotional r- roller coaster <laughs> going through it all. You had you. I laughed. I cried. I smiled. I frowned. And so to the final verse. Okay, so the final verse. We're at verse six. Verse six. And uh, if I f- I feel that it has two parts to it. Okay. Okay. So the verse is, uh, <laughs> anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Okay, pause. Full full stop, as okay. the kids say. Okay. Oh uh, wait, no, you're gonna you're gonna say it, and then we're going to then. This die. is a fiasco. <laughs> I don't care what you say. There's no other. It's there's no fiasco. way I'd rather end and it. And I feel like you're setting me up because I am a 23rd Psalm expert, <laughs> and you were just like, "How can I make her look so dumb?" No, I, I, I'm like, we'll we'll because we'll, they're right now. It's <laughs> really right now they haven't heard it at all. So we're gonna give it to them. Be- believe me, they 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 they're gonna hate it. Hey, you gotta hammer it home. Okay, Am I doing the very, very, very last piece? Just say the whole thing of the last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my cup runneth over. Okay, ready? 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ding, ding, ding. And that finish is the psalm. Yeah. Obviously, we'll jump into what each word means, but as a whole, there you go. That's it. From start to, that's the first time they're seeing it all together. Probably not. I'm, probably, I'm sure I put up many of edit to have them all together, but yeah, there it is um, in all its glory. And now, now let's talk about it. So you said you want to go, you think they're separate. It sounds like two separate um, things to me. I think they're separate. Yeah. So um, the first one, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. Yes. Now, I'm going to take the floor here. If you remember last week, we talked about this big banquet, this banquet God was having for us. And he was giving us a feast. Our enemies were there. They had like party hats on. And it was just, you were being catered to. Party hats and straight jackets. <laughs> <laughs> you were being catered to. And you obviously didn't feel like you deserved it, but you deserve it. And that's what you're being told. And it's like, wow, this is actually incredible. And I remember one thing we brought up was with the cup runneth over. And that comes right before this is we were saying normally you think, okay, you're given a feast. You're given a pizza party. The pizza is going to run out. And we're like, no, the cup runneth over, runneth is over. I think now what this is saying is, is the amount of times I've said double down in this, ver- in this, uh, what's the whole thing called? Song. Chapter? Oh, sorry. Um, is, you will be like the banquet was always hey the the the, the buffet is always open, and I think that's what it's saying when it's like, um, surely goodness and mercy, which that is what he was describing with the uh, prepared table for me was this goodness and mercy we talked about it uh, the cup being love right and so it says goodness and mercy will follow me in all the days of my life and remember we talked about the valley of the shadow of death being life right. You got to watch all of these to understand what, what we're talking about. You do. But um you even have to watch the Rainbow's podcast because uh, the promise of the Rainbow was that he would have mercy on mm-hmm. us forever. A m- a merciful more. God. Yes. So yeah, so I I think it's saying like don't let this th- don't let you think for one just one second that this was a this was a one-time thing. Through your entire journey, through life, through the valley of the shadow of death. My goodness, my mercy will always follow you. Yes. And your thoughts? Um, definitely. It's uh, it's just nice and cu- some 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 verses and chapters and songs and psalms and prayers you have to really pull out of there, you know. Yeah. Shuck the corn, <laughs> as but, the kids say. As <laughs> the ki- they do, the farmer kids. But these kernels are just right there. Yeah. Surely. Okay, no mistaking. Surely. No mistaking about it. You're even going word for word. I like it. Yeah. Surely. Goodness. Not just goodness. What else? Mercy. (laughs) Mercy me. Shall follow me. Yes. And I like that, you know, because... Sorry to cut you if I cut you off. No, you didn't. You were inspired. (laughs) As we were taught once again, if you didn't check out the fourth edition valley of the shadow of death we we described it as life and we said you're not alone like you're you're um uh because in in that verses yeah they'll walk the room like you're the shepherd jesus god is there with you mm-hmm. like guarding you and so it's saying when it says it's going to follow you that means no matter where you go how fast you run like it's always there right you, anywhere in your journey when whether you feel lost whether you're found, it's following you. Right. It's like a shadow. Right. Like a big shadow. E- even when, you know, you say, I don't need, thank you, I don't need your help. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't want you. You know, when a little kid says, um, I'm running away from home. Yeah. I don't need your help. Um, and and, and I, I want to leave here. And then you say, okay. And then they walk down the street and then you're like, you're hiding in the bushes and you're just going along with them yeah. to make sure that nothing bad happens to them. So, yeah, um, I'll follow you. God, goodness and mercy is following me whether I said. Get that goodness and mercy away from me. Get the goodness and mercy may from, away from me. I'm goodness and mercy is going to follow you. Um, you know you know what I've done sometimes? And this is, this is out in left field. 
Okay. That's a baseball term. <laughs> Go Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I do sometimes? What's that? Sometimes I pretend that goodness and mercy are the names of two angels. <laughs> if I need to visualize being followed yeah. by goodness and mercy. Um, so I say to myself, well, goodness and mercy are here. <sighs> Good, who invited them? <laughs> Again. <laughs> who, who, you know, people look over your shoulder. Who's yeah. that? And you're like, don't even, it's don't even acknowledge them. Goodness and mercy. Mom made me bring them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a good way to visualize it, I guess. Because, you know, sometimes when you think of these abstract concepts, right. especially when you think of a living God and it's like, it's, it's not just this passive thing. It's this active thing. It's sort of nice to, to think of it like that. Like, oh, no, I got goodness and mercy with me. What's up? I'm never alone. Right. Well, yes, you are. It's like, no, I'm not. It's goodness and mercy. So I, I'm going to get this tattooed on my biceps. Oh, I like goodness, it. Goodness, mercy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, so I know what I think, but I'm going to ask you what you think about the next part. Oh, I'll tell you already, guys. What the next part. Buckle in. Don't even tell me. Does, okay. Does that mean? So what am I going to do? You're just going to let me take it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I don't want you to... One, I don't want you to hijack my idea. Okay. And two... I've been confused this whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Forget about two. So the last verse goes like this. Wait, are you doing the last or the last piece of the first? I definitely wasn't doing whichever one you didn't think I was, was doing. We had one more piece to do on goodness and mercy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Um... <laughs> Sure, the goodness and all right, mercy. She'll follow, She'll follow me. me. All the days of my all life. the days of my life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're talking about all the days of my life. Right. Yeah. No. I I, to I totally knew that. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do I think about it? I think about just your whole life. Your living life, and then you lose it when you die. Yes. <gasps> that's not what I think. Uh, okay. Well, that see, that's why I was going to talk about the last thing. Oh, okay. Because they do go together. It's all the same verse. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I didn't really think about it. Can I come back to it and can we yeah. talk about the last part? Sure. So I think, get this, guys, and I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. You can't live on earth forever. We right. talked about the valley of the shadow of death. Right. We talked about being a mortal, earthly, balanced life, and you're trying to get to the end of it. Right. Which is heaven. So I think it's it's the whole time it's it's talked about being nurtured by the shepherd, going through this path of life. And then it finally, ka -chow, ends with, and then I, after, once you get through that valley of the shadow of death, you've gone to the afterlife, the promised land. Mm -hmm. And that's where you should dwell in the house of the Lord yes. forever. Yes. should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. But, so now. It's a promise of eternal life. It's a promise of eternal life. And it's a destination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right. it's what's on the other side of the valley right, of the shadow right. of death. It's the house of the Lord forever, my guy. And that is the reason that you can use this um, psalm for for people that you know that are alive on mm -hmm. earth and also people who have passed over. Yeah, it's the whole journey. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's the from a little baby sheep being born. Mm -hmm. and, a lamb. And, and, and a lamb to a grown man. To who's, a mutton. To, to, to. <laughs> really? Isn't that... A is it from Adult. lamb to mutton? Like, isn't that once they get chopped up and... <laughs> no! I thought that just meant an adult sheep. Mutton? Isn't yeah. that like a dish? I don't know. Like mutton chops? Well, lamb's a dish too. Mutton chops. Isn't that a hairstyle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. This brain fog. Yeah. Um, get behind me. Swim out of it. <laughs> um, irregardless. <laughs> it's the whole... It's the whole thing. It's the journey from start to finish. And one thing never changes, which sort of goes to your credit with the shepherd to, you know, defending you all through life. And then you're dwelling in the house of the Lord forever. But if, you, if it's goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. And not then I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Right. You catch that? You catch that small little word? Not end, but then. Not then, but end. <laughs> and I should be well in the house of the Lord forever. So, yeah. So, I guess 
you never you never get away from goodness and mercy. No, it's I like that you talked about those two words. Um which two were goodness and mercy? No. Oh. And, and as opposed to then because then, not than. Then with an e. Then, the, the, e. then we'll go to smoke and okay, pig okay. in Georgia. I'm um, sure the Georgians love that. Love you butchering their beautiful accent. <laughs> butchering (laughs) poor lamb um because this psalm is all about getting what god wants to give you which goes to our yesterday's podcast you know birthright twins who who no yes birthright twins i deserve this i'll tell you what you deserve um and so you have goodness which is like goodness is great but maybe I don't deserve it. Yeah. It's like mercy is following goodness, which means if I say you deserve it, you deserve it. Yeah. So the word and as a connector, I'm going to give you this and this and this and this. And eternal life. Not I'm going to give you this if you Pick do one. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Then the God at that time. Yeah. Then if you do this for me, then you get that. Mm-hmm. That's conditional love. And God's love is unconditional. Well, if we're talking, if we're going to start picking out words, it's sort of what I was saying about the follow, because it that's definitely not condi- like follow is not a conditional word, right? If it was, if you follow me, goodness and mercy will be with you. It's right. wherever you go, right? Whatever you do, goodness and mercy will follow you, right? That means you're leading goodness and mercy, right? And and you can't like a lost sheep from the beginning. It's that goodness and mercy is following that sheep. No sh- sheep, sheep left behind. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, what about the black sheep? Um, what's the story of that? It's just who's the, other- the black sheep? What's the black sheep? What's that song? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find it in the post edit. This or that. This or that. Yeah, come on. Who's the black sheep? What's the black come sheep? On. No, not who I am or when I'm coming. So you sleep. Come on. Yeah. Um. Well, it's, just, it's the same it's idea. Just, it was just a joke, really. I mean, just for the song, not for the song, but just because we're talking about sheep. Yeah, the black sheep is the Baba, black sheep. Baba, black sheep. Have, have you, you any wool? wool? You're right. That's where it's from. I was like, what am I? What am I thinking of? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. No, I just <laughs> I said Baba. Like everyone no, <laughs> the black sheep. When they say you're the black sheep of the family, they're saying that you are the uncooperative one. You are the. I don't know why they say that because I'm guessing a sheep that is born with um dark wool is not less cooperative but i have no idea but i do know that it's a term and it's like oh he's the black sheep of the family and it means he doesn't go along with what we're doing he, he he's just just maybe that's why because everyone's decided to be have you know white wool and this 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 one decided to have black wool but i don't yeah. know um so wait what were you saying you were talking before that i don't know you said sheep a few times. Okay. Well, I can just move on. It's, okay. So, oh, you let me repeat on? it. Okay. Um, I got burned over. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And ever and ever. Now, I have a question for you. Um, unless you were, were going to say something else, no. I'll repeat it. In the earliest podcast, I think it was the earliest podcast, you said that this is a common. Um, psalm to be read at funerals. Yes, and you said I don't like that. I believe I, like it's, that. I believe it's a living right. psalm. Now, what we've just uncovered was that the the last verse in our minds means you will then have eternal life in heaven. Right. So my question to you, and you're on the spot now. You're in the hot seat. Are you still going to stand here and say that you don't like that? How this is a you don't like how this is a funeral prayer or you don't like how this is exclusively a funeral prayer. Cause I think it has great use in a funeral, but I think it also has great use in life. Right. I think I did. I don't like it being exclusively used for funerals or for people for that, for it to be for someone to think that it would only be appropriate. I feel that because you can, see, you can, you can give this prayer to a newborn baby. Right. You can give this prayer to anyone. Anyone. Name me one person you can't give this prayer to or it doesn't apply. I'll wait. I can't. 
<laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> no, really. So, yeah, I just didn't want people to not consider it when you're choosing a prayer or some, you know, verse yes. to repeat, um, to say, well, I that doesn't apply to me walking the earth and my struggles here. Sure, that's that's a... That's a nice bedtime story for we're all going to go to heaven, but it's not really doing anything for me. Yeah. Um, now, let me ask you a question. I'm ready. Is is the um, wording of the house of the Lord restricting? Like, you think of heaven as vast and life is eternal, and then you're like, wait, I got to live in one house? <laughs> um, All of us? Dwell in the house <laughs> of the Lord. When I hear it, I don't think that you know what you you know what I'm gonna compare it to? Coming home. And he's the head of the household, being all of heaven. And so in this journey of un- unsureness, right? Like cause you were out there with the wolves. You were going through life, the valley of the shadow of death. We talked about being on a physical world. And then dealing with physical problems and Mm -hmm. mental problems that come with living in a balanced world of good and bad. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's sort of representative to come inside now. Like where, where it's my house, whose house, (laughs) our house, um, come inside. This is my house. I've been with you all the way. And now fear not young sheep. Because eternally, you will no longer have to worry about the wolves, about the devil, the devil, about any of that. Right. The the raging waters. Right. The water. I led you to the calm waters, but there, that's because there can't be calm if there isn't waves. Right. So it's just a sort of like after you're going through a, a crazy time, hectic, maybe day at work. And then what's better than just getting home, kicking your shoes off and being like, now I can relax. Um, Yeah, that's great. Because actually a lot of um, I've seen, we call them funerals. Um, (laughs) No. (laughs) What? I don't know what's going on today. In our church, in our Catholic church, we call them funerals. That's what we call them. What do other people call them? That's what I was about to say. Okay. In other churches, in, in I believe Christian churches, they call them homecomings. Mm. And they have homecoming services. And that's Is there very... a homecoming king and queen? <laughs> they are the king or queen. <laughs> but no, it's interesting because you just compared dying to going home. And that yeah. all of heaven is God's home. And... And we are his children and we're coming. Yeah, home. So it's exactly I mean, I'm not to reinvent the wheel. Maybe that's why they say it. But, you know, we didn't know that. Now we do. And guess what? If someone had just told us, told it to us. Right. We'd probably have been like, yeah, OK. Yeah, because I've heard it a lot of times. That's cool. I like it. That's fun. It's cute. Mm-hmm. But when you, when you really start dissecting things yourself. Yeah, true. I, I say it with the Bible all the time where even things that. um. I'm not. I'm not really against. Like mm-hmm. I, I remember, I, I hammered it home with a gambling podcast. I was like, I'm not against gambling, but what is it? Like, what is the reason now? Churches are calling it a sin. You know, some Muslims, it's you're not allowed to to gamble. And then once we talked through it, and we and right. we talked about the reasons why it's a distraction from your spiritual journey and stuff. Am I still? Am, am I now going to go around and burn casinos to the ground? No, and I, I think it's fine, but it's always good to learn on your own. That's sort of what we've been preaching from the get is right. um, you don't, as much as we love talking about sheep in this podcast, you don't want to be a sheep. Right. You want to, in, in context. And so you got to discover things for your own and, and see mm-hmm. what, what you believe. Right. Follow that. Yes. And I said it in the first show of the 23rd Psalm and maybe a f- couple other times, but I'm not sure, but I will end it with, say, not end the show, end the episode, but end with, uh, I can't forget to say once again that you can change the pronouns yes. in this Psalm to suit um, praying for yourself, praying for someone else, praying for a group of someone else's, or praying for 
you included. So I would say, um, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. Yes. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. This is a pronoun friendly prayer. It really it's is. A lot of peas. <laughs> it really is. Um, it's funny, but I was really so happy when I realized that because yeah. it is a great prayer. But, you know, if I do want to pray for someone else, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm just talking about myself. I might just say it's one, probably one of the best prayers to pray for people. It really off, is. off the cusp. Because yes. immediately if someone's like, oh, like, pray for me. I'm like, okay, what I'm going to, this, this is legitimately what I would do. And I'm, and I, I bet I'm with a lot of people. Yeah. I'd say the Our Father. Okay. And then I'd give a personal prayer. I would say, uh, you would pray. I would pray. And then but it, it, a petition. Yes. But mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Then it would just be me ad libbing. But this prayer is a prayer that you can pray the prayer. Yeah. And you should, you should pray the prayer in all the pronouns. <laughs> the pronoun prayer. Pray the pronoun prayer. Pray. You should pray the pronoun <laughs> prayer. But did, did we finish it? Is that the 23rd song? Is it? <laughs> that's it it's the 23rd psalm or you know you could just say psalm 23 yeah it's known as the 23rd psalm but you know if you were to write it you'd write psalm 23 yeah like the what we're going to read next week is john 4 we don't right. say um fourth. the fourth john yeah um but hey it's tomato tomato is potato is potato <laughs> so that's the 23rd psalm um Right before we end it, you want to just rifle it off one more time straight through? Get some redemption from the last time? <laughs> okay. You want to do it in one breath? Mm, I don't know. You're, she, you're she, killing me today. She, you're killing. I don't think I can do it, Spencer. No, you can. No, I don't the think The Holy I can Spirit's do it. in you. You're killing me today. She this whole... got so good at the 23rd Psalm okay. and a few oh. years ago, she has got it so darn good that she's able to do it in one breath. And what's a better way to end off the show? Than to watch her succeed. I haven't practiced it. So how? But it, the Holy this, Spirit. This is so stressful. And okay. some magic editing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is so stressful. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want to make you to lie down in green pasture. Leadeth me beside the still waters. You restoreth my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for thou art with me. The rod and the staff they come for me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I was joking. Oh my spirit. <laughs> Don't say that. Look at that. She still got it in her. And that's that's it. Walk through Thursday. What a way to end it. And we'll be back tomorrow for a fantastic, fun Friday. Fill in the blank Friday as, as we started calling it. Right. But until then, like, subscribe, and share. Share this prayer. Don't share crowd and crowd. Share this prayer with somebody you know. Pray for someone in their respected pronoun. Peace.